Our next speaker is Anne Harriman, also from Animal Aid. I've had the pleasure of knowing Anne for several years, and she is she is the machinery behind the education department at Animal Aid. And education, I hardly need to tell you, is so critical. Millions of animals around the world are poisoned and burned, subjected to painful and invasive procedures in basic research horribly deformed and mutilated in genetic and cloning research, used in warfare research to test conventional, biological and chemical weapons, and poisoned, gassed, burned, blinded, paralyzed and brain damaged to test chemicals used in industrial, agricultural and household products. in laboratories. 
and disease is a natural symptom. And supporters of animal research, such as the pharmaceutical industry, play on people's fears. The public is manipulated by fear. Fear of disease, fear of suffering, fear of violence, fear of terrorism, fear of death, and even fear of us. The public's attitude towards animal rights campaigners has been cleverly manipulated by those who have the most to gain from animal experiments, wanting to protect their jobs, profits, and the status quo. Attitudes towards us are further fueled by the media, who describe us as terrorists, extremists, or nutters who care only for animals, not people. The justice system, to their shame, has now started treating campaigners worse than murderers, rapists, or pedophiles in prison. We have to convince people that there are other methods which are not only more humane, but more scientifically accurate. And we need to inform ourselves of these methods in order to make a convincing case. We have to convince people animal experiments are not only cruel, but are necessary and a danger to human health because millions of people have been seriously injured or have died from the side effects of drugs or the effects of chemicals tested safe in animals. on our own species, our fellow humans. Why? Because we know it's wrong to hurt and kill people. Because they have feelings and can suffer. Animals also have feelings and can suffer. It's time to stop the suffering. It's time to replace old school methods of research with new school methods for the sake of animals and people. It's time to end shameful, obscene animal experiments and move forward into a new world, a more civilized world, a world in which we care for all life.